This meeting is being live streamed on Facebook and YouTube today, as per usual. Thank you, Maggie. Thank you, Maggie. She let me know I can do all that. I'm going, no, I don't want to. I want to just do Anyway, it's pretty funny. Less than a minute. There's my good friend, Barbara Taylor. Welcome, Barbara Taylor. Go visual. Anybody on uh, the, the Zoom with us, please be visual. Otherwise, you can join us through Facebook or YouTube. The, the uh, links are over here on the chat. We ask to have shining. Welcome, Barbara. Good, good, good. We like to have shining faces. That means you just buff yourself up and you don't use any powder. Just kidding. When I got, we're at time. I know we're on right now. So this is Alive with us, Alive with Bob. How many like being alive? Anyone? Anyone? I personally like it. Um, this is, let's see, March 31, 2022. This is session number 10 of Alive with Bob, Alive with Us. So welcome, everyone. We're going to do uh, demonstrations today. And also, I got something I'm going to read to you about oils. About oils. Uh, we have our new um, My Word Made Flesh. Uh, I keep calling it version two, but I believe it's something two. I wrote it down, I think. Uh, Second edition. Expanded what is it? edition. Expanded it, edition. Is that what it's called now? Expanded edition. We I, thank you. We've changed it so many times. Uh, now, so this is the uh, new expanded version edition uh, uh, release, whatever. Um, and so it's going to have different stuff, and it's got new stuff. And I, I got something today that I'm going to share with you. Um, so we're, I like to do a little review. How many of you have been with this uh, video log before? There's Jan, if you've been with it before. And how many are getting uh, like uh, shifts and share them? So this is like mic yourself and wave. If you mic yourself, that way I can tell because I looked up the list. Mic yourself before you wave. Mic yourself before you wave. There we go. Claudia, go ahead. Oh, you, you, wait, you just <laughs> muted yourself. I did. Oh, go ahead. Um, I am picking up. Um, or reaffirming things I already know every week. And I really am enjoying um, things being brought back to my attention that I have forgotten. And um, thank you. Oh, you're welcome. How many get, <clears throat> my job is not to teach really anything. My job is to create an environment where we remember I mean, I get that if it's true, it's in us already. How many get that? I mean, I all this stuff, all my technologies, everything, I remembered it. I didn't learn it. I mean, just, oh, how many like walking around going, oh, thank you. Oh, thank you. I mean, we're remembering our health. We're remembering our wealth. We're remembering our beloved. We're remembering. And of course, back to the hair, Claudia goes, hello, I'll be opening up some energy and my antenna. Awesome. Anyone else? Mic yourself and wave. What are you getting? What's happening? And mic yourself first. Go ahead, Charles. Back on last Thursday, I had a big breakthrough. Uh, Bob, you worked with me for about two or three minutes. And all of a sudden, I could feel my lower belly, the, the um, uh, just the lower abdomen. And I was actually breathing. I mean, I just couldn't believe it. I had It, it was like it didn't exist before. Wait, wait, you couldn't believe it? I did. Well... I did believe what I was feeling, and I was amazed. There we Thank go. You. How many love that? That's so clean. Because if mm -hmm. how many have ever said, ah, I won't believe it, or you won't believe it, and then you ain't going to believe it. Yeah. So now, thank you. Good job. And I was amazed. Good. Keep going. And then yesterday, I had the 25-minute session with Bob, and I'm a real different person. In fact, I'm so different that I forgot to take my nap in the afternoon yesterday. Really, I'm just, uh, I, I've got a very free schedule. I'm, I'm uh, uh, and uh, uh, so if anything bothers Wait, me. I'm, gonna, I'm just jumping in on this just to play with it. Instead of I forgot to take a nap, how about I remember to stay enthusiastic? I remember to stay enthusiastic. I like that much better. Okay, good, good catch there. I like that much yeah. better. How many so, like that? I remember to remain enthusiastic for yes. my life. Go ahead, yes. keep going. And I just and, and it just felt really good getting more done. And thank you. No, it felt good. I felt good getting more done. So Great everyone sleep. Yes. Yeah, 
and everyone I'm sharing with you, it's fun to be in a community where we play it like a game instead of somebody going, he's correcting me all day long or they're correcting me. Now, when you give it to your children, I guarantee you that you're going to learn it a lot or remember it a lot faster because it want, dad, want, you said want three times yesterday. I mean, I heard that from my daughter when she was whatever. Um, anyway, so how many get create an environment and a team where you can play this like a game instead of a shame? How many like a game? Good, good. Thank you, Charles. Awesome. Anyone else? Raise your hand or mic yourself and wave. Just share what's been happening. If I we're doing this, upgrades are happening. I know that. Come on now. One more, one more. Oh, go ahead. Roseanne. Yes. Um, I love seeing the miracles that are coming towards me now. I just happened to get on, pick my phone up, and I saw that Beth and Francine were doing a little live thing. And I'm going to have the opportunity to have my photo of my eyes taken coming up this at some uh, spring launch or something. So they had, don't even have the schedule set up, but I said I'm interested. So I'm really looking forward to that. Good. My little miracle. Awesome. Well, I wouldn't call anything little. <laughs> I think Marion. Yeah. I mean, do you can you imagine some angels probably delivering that? Can you imagine the angels probably if we were to meet them on the road, we'd they'd probably say, fear not, because they're 15 feet tall and blazing and terrifying and all that. So, and they're not little miracles. In fact, a bunch of miracles add up to a great thing. How many like it? Yeah. So remember, I'm just playing with words right now that's something i like to do anyone else i will do one more i might do this forever but we'll see one more what's happening anyone anyone everyone anyone anyone everyone all right so uh in a bit we're going to demonstrate i'll demonstrate how this works you know somebody said i got this i ask a question da, 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 da. we vote victory how many get it how many like the idea of voting victory and for those anyone that's new i am my own permanent victory in the light and then who's ever speaking i and you do your version of that i mean you use your wording and all but i'm using mine and then i am your instead of well i'm not quite sure i wonder if they're going to get no i am your permanent victory in light we vote the victory of victory and that keeps us a positive charge and helps really does so <clears throat> we'll do that in a minute and anyone on facebook or youtube that has a way to chat our team somebody's watching and can read that as long as you get called on in that particular whatever the order is no guarantee um, you'll have to get a miracle. Anyway, um, a big, huge, whopping miracle. Um, uh, well, well, what we'll do is you, you, and if you, anyone states something like, what's up, you never say the name of a disease. How many know, because that's where we're taken out of version one in version two is any disease names. Cause I, I'm just like, why did I leave that in there? Uh, so whatever, stupido. Because if I work with somebody, they can't tell me the name of a disease. Otherwise, I don't work with them. Because, again, naming the disease, if you got a chance to read, I think I shared it in this somewhere. Um, I do a lot of stuff like this. Anyway, the disease thing, no, it's unease. So many like the idea of going, oh, it's a completely different paradigm we're entering. Cool. All right. So we'll do that in a minute. Uh, everybody get your, yes, ma'am. Leslie, what? I just had a quick question on a word is there a better choice than release yes please release me let me go so when we lease something we pay for the use of something that's not ours <clears throat> so if we uh, release the fear it will go out and gather seven more worse than the first and come in cancel so how about transform how's that leslie Leslie, how do you, do you like transform, upgrade, replace? Upgrade. Leslie. upgrade. What's that? Upgrade. upgrade. But again, if you release, let's say you're going to release anger. Right. How many have ever released the Kraken? How many have ever released the Kraken? No. On someone else. No. Come on. Good. You're, I have. I've been upset. But usually now, I'll like, like I got anger. Don't take it personally. Just got to get it out. I mean, that's clean for me because I'm not going to hold my anger back. But I'm going, it's not about you just getting it out. And I won't even look at them necessarily. Just da, 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 da. All right. Now that it's on my altar, I can begin to shift it, bring in authority, authorship, forgiveness, that kind of stuff. So to not uh, releases, it's not completely clean. If, if somebody can't go to the bathroom pee-pee wise, 
maybe that's a good thing. I release the P. All right, that works. Okay. But there are certain things that are not necessarily, it, you know, like, again, would you rather release fear or have courage, Leslie? Or oh, have courage. Yeah. Anyone else? Somebody go, let's see. Fear, let it go. Well, we got an empty spot. Seven worse than the first could come in, hypothetically. Or I can take my fear and go, yo, fear. I love you so much. Yo, Polly, you sister with me. I love you. Yo, fear, I touch and I say, most people go, I don't love my fear. Touch it with love. I'm going to go, all right, I'm touching you with blazing agape love. How many know perfect love transforms? I believe, I mean, perfect love casts out. I believe it transforms fear into courage, faith, security, assuredness, and confidence. So how many of you realize you are a transformer? Not the movie. How many realize you're a, <clears throat> a transceiver? I like that better. You receive and send. So everything in this world right now is awaiting a new agreement by us, even if we just do it inside of us in our imagination. So cool. Does that help, Leslie? A little bit, yeah. Oh, not you. Then she said, absolutely not. <laughs> and so you sat there without any aha. So what in you is holding you back from understanding your full capability? Well, it's in a particular... It's oh, so no, wait, wait. I'm going to show you words. <laughs> well, it's... No, no. Answer the question without going, well, is always a filter. Me too. So is there something... I'll do it this way. Voter victory, kids. I'm a tough coach. How many like to have angels standing all around her right now just because Bobette is here? Me, right? All right, so is there something holding you back from getting your full victory? Yes or no? No. Cool. So what's keeping you from understanding? My analytical mind. No, then something is keeping you from your full well, it's victory. In, it's in uh, application. So like body code um, training. So like you, what, what kind of training? Say it again. Uh, the emotional body code. Okay, I don't know what it is, but go ahead. And we use release to release stored negative emotions. All right, so if I release stored negative emotions, I have not reshaped them, that's all. So okay. some systems are completely awesome. We just upgrade a bit. We don't make that wrong. And then this is right, no. I mean, me too. I mean, I'm just really realizing that everything helped me that I've learned and I'm, I'm just bringing a, another upgrade. So if I release negative emotion, it doesn't mean I have a positive emotion. But it, like our whole thing, everything you will study in our system is fear with love turns into faith, trust, security. It's not a negative emotion. It's the inversion of a positive emotion. Our greatest weakness shall be our greatest strength. So once you get into the system, you'll begin to go, you can take all the systems that are effective and upgrade them. Where, where you can. Does that help, Leslie? Yes. Yeah, and now do you get then? So do, have you had an analytical mind? Have I had one? Yes. Yes. Is that your choice now to have? And notice I'm saying the word differently. <laughs> yes. Did y'all hear a little bit of the way I spun? I, an analytical uh, mind. Yes. I, yeah, I'm getting better. Uh, so no, I am getting better. How about I, I listen with my heart? I listen with my heart. My spirit guides, every, and it has to be your wording. My spirit, uh, hmm, informs me. My God informs me. Yeah, me too. I mean, I love it. So do you get, I, you know, I'm God aware. I'm God aware. So eating from the fruit of the tree of the knowledge or thinking of good and evil is the fall from grace. So when we use just our thinker, it's more like a stinker. So do you get it's time for, I mean, we use them all, discernment, all that. But I really believe it's more contemplation than stinking or thinking. Clear? So that's, that's me too. I mean, I, the whole world right now, we're moving as an example from disease consciousness and what was called healthcare, really disease management, into transformation into something. Let the weak man say, I am strong, is to me the totality of the laws in that one statement. So is that the same for when people say diagnosis? Well, you tell me. That's a man-made word. Diagnosis. Ah. I mean, that's for me. That's why I play it. So 
and all of us will find words that aren't necessarily wrong. We'll say, I prefer this. How many like, I prefer this word. Everyone say, uh, you, you can do this, but just out loud to yourself. I, you can do this, but, and then you can do this and. I prefer restored. Well, I'm saying if somebody goes, um, it, it, I call it and consciousness. So you're still thinking it. Yes or no? Yes. I, how many know our body was going before her mouth started making sounds? Uh, how many know the body's going to tell the truth? Is it your choice to have to run everything through this really slow noggin or into your being? Into my being. Good. So again, we're going to have to give up the need to think it. And we go first words from our heart is what, what the system is. Anyway, I want your victory, dear. And you. you get you're upgrading that what you just described as the system. You may have, you may be the one to go and everyone, not wrong. What I found works is this. And may, then people can bring up the pattern and just a quick little, oh, let's transform it, bring it up. Let's release it into the flame of love. That would work for me and, and recook it into what it's meant to be, something like that. But again, it's got to fit within the strategies of the purpose of what each modality is about. Thanks, dear. All right, I'm going to go read a little bit of oils. And remember, if you're on, you're on visual. Otherwise, join us on Facebook or and the links are over on the side. Please, please be on visual and or you can join us. Just do it through Facebook or YouTube. Um, here's this thing. I, it's not this is draft one. My team has not seen this yet, but they're seeing it for the first time. <clears throat> All right. How many of you use oils? So, and the reason I'm bringing this up is uh, the more my word made flesh is all about changing frequency at, a, at I think it's step six, step five or six, whatever it is. Um, so I've got it somewhere. Anyway, <laughs> it's a cheat sheet. Um, I'm realizing, oh, it's way more important than everything we put in it before. It's way more important than things with oil. So um, I'm asking if I've got body language going on, if I've got something I'm choosing to release and transform, if I've got an emotion, which means against motion, I'm choosing to love into motion. There's only one true motion, it's love. And I bring oils into this. And again, this will be in our new uh, version. Um, and this says 17 points. I've only got like 11 so far. I just started writing this on my phone this morning, everyone. So just, you know, realize it's not edited yet by our team, especially Cynthia of our editedness. All right. So why oils? Oils, the oil raises our frequency it automatically. How many know you smell an oil? It changes our state. Yes. I'm going to get that. I mean, raising. Okay. So our job, when, when we use anything, nutrients, live foods, smoothies, forgiveness, all that stuff, there, it's a shift in consciousness. Body language is telling us what is well, the, the static state, but it begins to tell us what, to, what the blessing to agree with. So the oil raises our frequency. That's all there is to it. It does it. It does it every time for everyone in whatever way is perfect. <clears throat> Excuse me. Our job is to focus on quote, ask yourself, raises into what specifically? Transforms into what specifically? So how many of you can wear that mantle? How many of you can go, all right, put it, how many just put an oil on hoping it did something? Come on, now, how many have done that? How many have taken a supplement hoping it works? How many have gone to the chiropractor hoping it works and putting it all on, no, I didn't do a good job. You know, he didn't adjust my atlas. Got it? I'm, how many? Well, wait a minute. I go to have him help me come into who I am. I'm, if I put it on the physician, let's say, then that, that's back to the allopathic disease state. Please treat me and hopefully you're good at it so you can fix me. No. Uh, please help me fix myself. Physician, heal thyself. Number two, the pure, and this is really important now that we're going brand neutral, the purer the essential oil, the greater the frequency upgrade. So if they've got stuff in there that co-natural synthetics, all that, <clears throat> not good. And everyone, if you can, if you can just claim this for yourself, I always use the best. Anything less than my, it's not in, but anything less than my highest choice contains within itself sabotage. Meaning, if I'm not picking 
letting my creator furnish my world, my creator's way, I'm already self-sabotaging. So this includes everything about how oils are grown, handled, and delivered. You deserve the best, purest spiritual upgrades. Can each, will each of you make that agreement now? The universe will take care of us. If I go, well, I don't have the money, your spirit does. Your God does. The universe does. Cool. Number three, essential oils are pure spirit, which in the, the, my mentor said it's sunlight through photosynthesis into the blood of the plant. So we're taking pure light, which is love, through the plant, which is doing photosynthesis, creating the blood of the plant. So the frequency of light brought into the plant is what an essential oil is. When you put blends together, man, we're getting a whole series of different agreements and frequencies. It's like, like a flower of life or a, a seed of life, if you've ever studied flower of life, sacred geometry. So if you can, I'm inviting everyone to be grateful to God, spirit. I'm using it a generic word here for hopefully as many people as possible. So be grateful to God as you use the blessing of the oil. The oil contains a frequency enhancer. The oil is a frequency enhancer. The oil is a spiritual vibration designed to raise us in a particular way. <clears throat> That's why it's nice to know which way they help us vibrate. Number four, the oil is not getting rid of something. Well, it took away my pain. Well, my skin rash has gone away. Well, I breathe easier. Well, that's good. You got it? But it, again, the oil is restoring something. Do you get it? It's not attacking. It's raising beyond that frequency. So it's not antifungal, antiviral, antitumoral, and none of that stuff, which is the FDA uh, through compliance is saying you can't say that. Well, we don't even want to say that. Thank you very much because that would be in the old paradigm of disease. No, ease. So focus, all of you focus on anybody, anything you're doing. What are you restoring with gratitude? All right. Five, always let yourself smell the oil as well as use the oil. How many of you have ever put the oil on and didn't necessarily enjoy the fragrance? You just slapped it on for, oh, I got a headache. I'm going to use peppermint on my temples or whatever. That nape of my neck. I'm going to get, okay, it's working, but what would happen if we, and I'm going to talk about this, smelling the oil, Mac, it really does. I mean, I knew all this. I knew when, I, when once I wrote my book, I started applying every one of the tools and I'm realizing, man, there's something going on with the smell, the olfactory of the oil. So smelling the oil maximizes the frequency boost. Um, always add your imagination and decrees about what you are agreeing the oil is helping and assisting you in restoring, increasing blessing you with. And that's, I know I got to edit that. So how many like the idea of just not waiting for the oil to do something? Let's be clear. The oil is helping me attain something. So if I'm going to go to mental clarity. I am clear. I enjoy my genius, that kind of stuff. Um, da, 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 wherever I am. That's funny. All right, I got it. Um, this way we are not hoping, and I know, how many of you have hoped the oil works? Me, I have. We, this way we're not hoping the oil does something to us. It's not designed to do something to us. I mean, even if we use it that way, sometimes it'll work because we surrender to the oil and the oil by grace carried us. How many like the idea of agreeing specifically with grace? That's what this is about. So we are partnering with spirit when we use oils to embody our highest choices, not just getting over pain to restore comfort and ease about who, what, when, where, why. Seven, the spiritual use of the blood of the plant, essential oils, is sacred. You are sacred. You're the most precious thing on the planet to your creator. So when we use oils, I'm really adding this in way, 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 way more than before. And there's more to go for me. So quiet the outer mind and the outer world awareness. I'm going to get it and invest a moment. I was going to say take, but I like invest a moment in your connection to your creator and our beloved mother nature when using essential oils to participate in the harmonizing and raising of your experience to your next level upgrade. When I do this, 
I my my level of upgrade is profoundly increased. Oils always raise. Like flames burn up, oils uh, um, etherealize up. They're always lifting and raising, just like a flame. And then it, I'm, I'm raising into what? Eight, doubt, and unanswered prayers and failures. How many have had some of those? And how many have given up and stopped even asking because of it didn't work? It just didn't work. I done whatever. Or how many came through your incarnation and the socialization and the influence of mom and dad and all the other stuff? No judgment. Kind of taught us we just don't do that. We don't ask for that. We don't play that way. What we do is this, this, and this. We don't. All right. So doubt and unanswered prayers and failures have supported the current state of affairs of humanity. Essential oils when enjoying the, fra uh, the fragrance and the frequency or smelling them, clear and transcend or set aside the filtering out or the filtering of doubts and beliefs. And I was, if, I have, if I say I choose to be wealthy and my, everything in me says, yeah, I'm right. You get that I ran into a doubt. I didn't feel the meaning in each word deeply enough. I didn't, when you pray, ask, believing I wasn't alive in my decree or prayer answered and therefore, it was just vain repetition. So essential oils and smelled clear and transcendent, set aside the filtering of doubt and belief in failure as there is no filter. This is so cool. And we've got a new addition to this in our new book. <clears throat> and anyway, no filter of the olfactory sense of smell. There's no filter. So it, once you smell, it's carrying, if we had decrees and imaginations with it and agreements with it, it's carrying us right to our victory. Stay with the smell. If you can still smell it, it's still working. Use your oils, smell your oils, and let, let your decrees go away. PowerPoint just came on. I don't need you. Um, <clears throat> that's funny. Going, I can see it now. It's, it just came out of nowhere. I have never seen it before. And I'm going, oh, it's time to make a PowerPoint out of this. Thank you very much. Um, where am I? God bless me. Use your oils, uh, smell your oils, and let your decrees, prayers, and imaginations, visualizations connect with your full enthusiasm. Now, again, if I give a decree or I go, uh, all right, I take peppermint in my particular system through my mentor, it's called the oil of gladness that was in the Bible. So if I'm using peppermint, how many are glad you don't have it on private areas of your body? That's one way to look at it. I mean, how many have ever I have, I worked at a peppermint place. All right. So if I'm putting peppermint on, you know, maybe for taste or maybe, how about enthusiastically agree with my glad life, my gladness? Because peppermint, is, how many know, it's, it'll pepper me right up there. All right. All right. So enthusiasm as you claim your highest choice. Number nine, invest a moment in making sure each nostril, this is cool, really helps me, it's big has the same scent and fullness of the oil. So if I put the oils on and make sure it's either one hand or both hands, same amount. And then I'm gonna check one side and then I'm gonna smell the other side. And if it's different, I go back and forth and back and forth and back and forth until they're harmonized and equal. I believe that's doing something to our hemispheres. Really important. So that's that, I can jump ahead now. Uh, 10, each time you use oils, be like Dr. Emoto, and his water blessings, water, I love you, I bless you, I thank you. So oil, how many love the idea? I love you, I bless you, I thank you. I believe something so magic about this. I find this simple act is like asking for something in prayer and waiting to see if it manifests before saying thank you. No, a true prayer is always please and thank you as we are agreeing with our prayer being answered by our thank you. So essential oils like water, like a moto, water, or oil, like peppermint, again, peppermint, I love you, I bless you, I th have that be an automatic, I love you, I bless you, I thank you, we're, in other words, increasing a vibration, I love you, I bless you, in other words, when I bless, I have now amplified my acceptance of that oil, I, bl I, I love you, I bless you, I thank you, now I've given thanks for the carrier current inside of that particular oil, and 11, as you can tell, it, I got 17. We'll see how many show up, okay? Remember, the oil is changing your state. Remember, enzymes are changing your state. 
Remember, herbs are changing your state. Teas are changing your state. Relationships are changing your state. So if, again, back to oils, and decrees and prayers and body language are all changing state. Is It is changing our, so when, when the oil changes our state, it's changing our consciousness. Let yourself remember my consciousness, what I believe to be true, what I be, be alive in as true, is now changed. It, and again, it's raising you. Be extra aware of this fact. And then remember the mundane experiences of life and spirit have and mundane is, oh, well, I've just put it on. I just use it. I hope it works. Da, da, da. That anesthetizes us to the blessings all around us. It makes us numb. N-U-M silent B, doubt, D-O-U silent B, debt, D-E silent B, being. So how many of us, uh, me too, and that's, I mean, applying this, I'm not just going to you guys, I'm saying us guys. Again, when I, I, I love you, I thank you, I bless you, wow. And if the oil is changing my state, it's changing my state, it's changing my consciousness, and let myself ride out to what is actually returning, which is a blessing to me. Pure essential oils create a shift of our state automatically. They're already doing that. I, I suggest we experience and ride our shift into our highest choice fulfilled. That's our job. We have to agree with the blessing to have it exist. When you pray, ask, call, believing ye receive. That means be alive having received. Anyway, that's that. Let's do a quick comment on that. Anybody get something out of it that you can use? Share, if you will, mic yourself first and away. Go ahead, Barbara. And, and mic yourself first. You can always wave first, but like, go ahead, dear. Hi, Bob. Um, it's been a little while since I've been involved in your energy teachings and our leadings. And today I was at my desk and came across an email and that said you were going to be live. And I went, yes. So I happened to have, I didn't know what the subject was, didn't matter to me, but I happened to have an essential oil right here on my desk and it's called purification yeah so one of my favorites yep it, it is one of my favorites as well and so i've been using it and just i'll just say just seeing your email this morning sparked a new state for me and then i added this and yeah. smelled it and rubbed it all over <laughs> i even tasted it so thank you bob you're welcome I, how many and uh, go ahead here go ahead i'm starting a new adventure and it started with your email. Thank you for sparking my sparking my for opening my door to remembering why I'm here. Um, awesome. Thank you. Thanks for sharing. Everyone, you can now call me Sparky. <laughs> I kind of like it. Beautiful, dear. And how many again? I'm going to suggest those that know purification and abundance. If you put them together in a little spray spritz bottle with some water, it is the coolest thing ever. I'm just showing it that way. We purify our abundance, and we are abundantly purified. I thought I'd just share that. Anyone else? Denise. Okay. Um, I heard you say an, uh, another time earlier that to smell first one side and then the other. I had no idea that each side would smell it differently. First time I tried that, I'm like, oh my gosh. It was, it, but it took me quite a while to get them to equalize. So what does that actually mean when they don't? Um... Well, first of all, I, I think God's the only one that could answer this question. So I'll give you my theory. I mean, because everybody's got to, you know, Let's say I've been doing this for the nostril thing for uh, decades, decades. And I, I didn't necessarily understand it. I just knew I really like when they're both working well. Anyone, how many like, you know, that kind of, how many boy, wake up in the middle of the night and one side's solid, no air moving? Anyone, yeah. anyone? I heat with wood. Uh, I mean, have all the other heat pumps. I have five heat pumps and all that, but I heat with wood because I like it. And I'm from Michigan. So it's like, yeah, it's warm. Mm -hmm. I like it, yeah. but it's also dry. So, you know, I'm working on that. So anyway, when I, what I believe is happening and there's things I've studied before way back, forms of meditation where you draw in air from one side, you draw in air from the other side, back and forth and back and forth. And that supposedly has something to do with uh, left nostril, right uh, hemisphere, 
right nostril, left hemisphere. Being I study the eyes, in the eye, the left eye shows the right brain, the right eye shows the left brain. So I, you know, I'm on that page. So what I believe is happening, especially when one side is to, like way different smell, I'm not saying one is right or wrong. I'm saying I'm going to take the fullest smell. I'm going to stick with it until my receptors, I'm going to say that, are agreeing. So it's like my I, which is right brain and I am statement, and my M, which is left brain, I is creator, M is action. I am is God in action. So I take that where if, let's say, my left side's not experiencing full fragrance or scent, I know left side most likely is going to be my creator side gets to, is, is speeding up as I stick with it. Or if it's my uh, right side that's not quite full. That would be my left brain. My and again, right is creative, feminine, receptive, intuitive, inflow. Left brain is uh, rational, linear, outgoing, masculine, outflow. Left brain shows words. Right brain shows you know spatial relationships and feelings and stuff like that. So how many like to have your and then once you give a decree, how many like to have the decree happen because you feel right brain the word specifically. Anyone? Anyone? So now let's go back to oil. So, and this, you know, I'm bring, well, I am bringing it up because I, let's say the first iteration of our book, I started practicing all this and I got, I got a lot more to share. It's amazing. Anyway, so that's where I'm at with it now. So when I'm back and forth and back and forth, like you, you talked about it, I might at some particular oils, because they're um, maybe daily divine or frankincense, which is what all these things, if I smell one side, I might not know, but if, you know, might put it up, maybe one side picks it up, but the other side, if one side's way fuller and richer, I now know there's some work for me to do to have my I am agree with the blessing in this fragrance, in this oil. Yeah, yeah. So does that help? Yeah. yeah and what oil was it that you, you noticed? Which one is the first one you did that one was... <sighs> I don't remember which one was the first oh, one. Oh, it's but all I'm good. Doing it with every one now. Yeah, oh, good job. I'm gonna hear that. Ah, oh, I love it. She didn't <laughs> hold her breath. She just exhaled. It's working. Thank you, Denise. Anyone else? Anyone? 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 So, how many like the idea of using oils in a brand new way? I mean, you know, bless them. That kind of stuff. All right. So now I, uh, because I like doing the demonstrations, I'm doing the, um, we, had, we offered 16, I offered, and my team offered 16 uh, sacred body language uh, translation sessions, 25 minutes, and they fill up. And so we offered next, a week after next, I believe we're going to do the same thing because the sound effect was important. Um, I love doing them. And in 25 minutes, First, I, I sit there going, how else would the person know, unless this is going on, how much transformation is available they're already ready for waiting to agree with it? I mean, I, I mean, yeah, I do the coaching, but I'm on the sidelines as well going, this is the coolest thing ever. You know, I'm having my, I'm fully present. I'm, I'm fully, completely present. But this is really cool. Just be, just be quiet. You can celebrate later. The, I mean, our creator, before you have asked, I have answered. Anyone? I mean, be, how cool that our creator scripture says, Bob, well, before you have asked, I have answered. That tells me how much I'm loved. That tells me my creator is right here, tractor beaming me upscale, only I got to ask. Why do I get to ask? It's not being done to me. This is a full awakening of my anointed self. How many like being a conscious co-creator? Anyone? Instead of, well, I got a miracle. Don't know how it happened. Just happened. Land in my lap. I'd like to get another one someday, you know, but not quite. A miracle is a higher law lived. How many get that? How many get, oh, you mean they're, they're mechanical, like mechanical advantage. You know, you can't, if you go out further, you can change everything. How many like having grace on your side? Let's do it that way. How many want to move up scale with ease and grace? I just tested you. How many want? Yeah. 
And Leslie, I'm going to put you on mute just because you're, you're, you're going to have to mute yourself. Just so cute. It's all good. So now why did, why did I do that? Because look, we've been enmeshed in the Babel virus. How many, again, raise your hand. How many? It's not wrong. You're not going to go hail. Got it? It's just, you're going to have to really be at a certain speed. Raise your hand. How many didn't catch the want word? Now, how many know we're going to give you a badge of shame? Cancel. How many love going, oops, I recommit? So how many want to use an oil to recommit with ease? I said it again. How many want? <laughs> Thanks, Victoria. <laughs> I admit it. If I can admit the truth, it sets me free. Now, why? The reason I'm sharing this, this is me. Working with people who have been studying with me for years. I can do the same thing if I have people here that raise their hand. And I'm right in the middle of some major truth. How many want to do it? And they go, yeah. And then they go, no. So frequently I'm on the phone to my creator. Yo, a little help here. A little, little more grace, a little more awareness, a lot more. So again, oils come in. They're going to speed us up to something. How many like waking up to the language of your heart? Yes. We had better confuse their language for there is not anything they cannot do. What? That it, scripture says, I'll write you in parable and no other way will I write to you. We have to contemplate it to understand it. It's not straight stuff. You got to contemplate it. So now do you get the language of our heart eating from the fruit of the tree that thinking or knowledge, thinking of good and evil is the fall from grace. Grace is coming back online. We're all being, I can and I will. Got it? I can and I will. I must write. I, mm -mm, got it? We're being called back into grace. We're being called back into union. How many believe that? How many choose that anyway? How many can tractor beam that? All right. So now language must move from the Babel virus. I call it the Babel virus for about 50 years now without even knowing what a virus was, that's pretty funny, into the language of our heart, into pure speech. Zephaniah 3, 9 is about the only scriptural quote that I've let myself tell people that I remember because I somebody memorized the whole Bible and had it all memorized and didn't have a clue, in my view, of what love was or what, anyway. So I don't do the memory thing. I go, look it up, Bible Gateway, have at it. All right, so... Um, I will, Zephaniah 3, 9, I will return to you pure speech. And my grandmother's Bible had this one version of it. I will return to you pure speech where, when you call upon the name of the Lord, I am in unison, 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 one son, one S-O-N, S-U-N, and it shall be done unto you. I will return to you pure speech. Zephaniah 3, 9. And I bawled. It's three o'clock in the morning. I bawled. I knew that was true, but I didn't have a promise of it. I didn't have a law of it. I will return to you pure speech. How many get and the, the where, when? It's the only one translation I've seen. It simply said, where, when? Where, when? I'd say it. Then I stopped going, every word counts. Where? Where? Right here. When's my creator going to? I will return to you, Bob. Pure speech. The language of your heart. Where? Here. When? Now. And every one of you, that's our right here and right now. When we call upon the name of I am in a complete alignment. So I'm going to get, this is where I, when I test you, like how many want, not to, you know, have you fall. It's to let you know where in the past we may have been automatically unconscious. How many choose to move into the acceptance of grace where we have automatic conscious? This is what body language is doing we get to play in it that we've all been digging and scratching our entire life like lsa right now is going i think i'll i believe i'll thrive i believe i'll relieve fight or flight occipital region right back here and i give myself permission to thrive now she may not have known that she might have just gone itch and i have so many people i just itched well yeah you did itch you did itch and yet what in you went over here and our hands are emitting light, left hand receiving, but putting light fingers, which finger makes a difference. How many get we're relieving fight or flight and going into parasympathetic, relaxed and thriving and breathing. 
That's that point right there. So if I if Leslie can go, I give myself permission to thrive. I mean, like it. Leslie, come on, let's do it. I'm going to take this as one of our signals. So, and do I have permission to do this with you right now? Yes, you do. Awesome. Thank you. And voter victory, kids. So uh, how, is that cool that you just automatically told yourself it's okay to thrive? Yes, sir. <laughs> how many like that? Yeah, we're in the army now. We're thriving. All right. So now what in you, what was going on right when you reached up? Because that's going to be important. No idea. How about I choose to know? I choose to know. Now say... My brain ain't got a clue. My heart knows. My heart knows. All right. So what was going on? I was having trouble with that word diagnosis. Oh, you're still back contemplating the analytics of it? No, I'm not. It you're was... never having trouble with a word in your heart. Oh, yeah, that's right. So your body goes, get over it, girlfriend. Right. Uh, yes. So I yes. give myself permission to thrive. I give myself permission to thrive. So notice I'm having trouble. That's fight or flight, reptilian brain, sympathetic nervous system. Your, your spirit goes, get over it. And yet you're back to, I'm having trouble. I'm having trouble with that word, diagnosis. I'm having trouble. I'm ha No, you're not. Your intellect illusion, the result of which is death, is having a problem. Right. And you go, how many know in the back of the turley is a handle? Oh, the toilet? Yes. Yeah, the toilet. Yes. How many, I use different words just to have fun. So <laughs> how many don't leave when you leave when you sit down and leave something that's solid in there? How many go, I'm having trouble with you? How many just push the handle down? Let's push it down. Yeah. So this too shall pass. This too shall pass. So Leslie, my most of us didn't get it. That's what I'm sharing with you. When you reached up you may not have had any awareness you even did it i frequently don't in the past have, i have now way more than ever before but your body was relieving that gotta have to should need to problem fight flight how cool that's your spirit rich self saying what aligning with what my heart knows yes now like like oils, I love you, I bless you, I thank you. How about, you know, your creator, thank you. Thank you. And body and spirit, innate intelligence, relieving that. Now, how many have ever relieved it and didn't know and stayed in the struggle? All right, so now, let's say, let's take it one more step. What happens now that it's been a year and you've been, the struggle has been replaced with ease and grace? What happens for you? I have amazing life. It's good. It's a bit vague. I am fully restored. Now, with permission, you went, I am fully, re a little, no. So I'm about to say, I say yes to being fully restored. I say yes to being fully restored. But being fully restored could be about a vehicle. No, it was about that word we just discussed. So I'm restored to what? So see, the no is probably, it didn't go far enough. I am restored to my full health. Good. And keep going. My full health. What the, the, the. She's right. Voter victory, kids, because the diagnosis was about. Mm, and so now do you realize only God can tell you the truth. And the truth is, I am that I am. Say it. I am that I am. I am that I am. This is one version of it. So now do you get all of you and all physicians out there, stop giving diagnosis. And what you can say, the physician is, if you continue your lifestyle the way you've got it, I have seen this can be the result. That way, no one has a right. I give you three more weeks. Don't ever say that. That is a transgression against the spirit or the possibility of God. Yes. So and now do you get what? Go ahead, honey. I did correct the physician when she looked at my scan and said, oh, your scan's clear for now. And I went, no, wrong. My scan is clear forever. Thank you. So now, how about I forgive the diagnosis? I forgive the diagnosis. And I push the hand down, handle down on the turley. I push the handle down on the turley. And then that's the then what returns? My full healthy DNA. Good. All right. How, how about I am, am DNA? What I'm going to share with all of you is 
there's uh there's a, there's a major training thing going on right here it's i mean deep stuff Do, uh, with permission if you use an adult word how many know children walk around going dna dna rna dna no they don't <laughs> how many get they go daddy hungry now how many get that you know three-year-old our subconscious is like a three-year-old so the intellectualization of our spiritual life is eating from the fruit of the tree of the knowledge of right and wrong. So DNA, how many know you didn't have DNA until somebody taught you later on? Yes, but our DNA is the collection of our lineage, thought, word, and emotional patterns. So how about I restore my what? I restore my lineage. Nope. No, it's in you. Your lineage is in you. You have to make this personal. I what restore my wait, 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 wait. I'm just going to show you. Wait, wait. Would you would a three year old say lineage? No. No. So everyone stop to the best of your ability. Not wrong. Just stop using adulterated words. So I I, I just go out of here now that this worked. Now that I've re restored my thriving. Say it now, now that, that I've restored, restored my thriving. What's new and different for me is. What's new and different for me is. What? My full, healthy self. Big. My full. No, say I am what? I am fully restored. To what? My beginning lineage. Oops. <laughs> no, 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 no. And everyone, this is the challenge of humanity. She didn't say I have, I do, I am. Like let the weak man say I am strong. That's the simplicity of this. My full healthy self doesn't say it's just a it's a chapter title. It so, is. About, so tell me what's your life like now that you have your full health? I what? This is why I'm so successful, everyone, because I know how to do this. Learn how to do this. I, I what? I am healthy and happy. I'm happy. Say it. I'm happy. I'm happy. I'm healthy. I'm happy and healthy. Now a three-year-old can rock and roll with this, yes or no? I feel yep. better, Daddy, or I feel this, you know, so now I'm happy, see, because how many know happiness is how we, uh, goes on unconscious apathy, grief, fear, anger, pain, enthusiasm. I can, I am, I will, I choose, I have, I love, I create, I enjoy, eighth center. I enjoy is the only way we can glorify our creator. So I am happy, say it. I am happy. Say it again. I'm happy. With? Myself. No, nope. uh, that was me. I didn't mean to lead it that way. I am happy. You can't have it with yourself unless there's two of you. <laughs> no, I'm happy with, many, me. Wait, 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 wait. with me. With me. Wait, yep, good. So you just lifted her shoulders up, which means she's, she sloughed off a burden she's been carrying from her lineage. Both left and right shoulder went up. So now say, I restore my family's blessings. I restore my family's blessings. Say it again, honey. Motor victory, kids. Breathe, honey. Move air. I restore my family's blessings. Yeah. We'll keep moving air. Just say, I touch and I stay. I touch and I stay. I choose to make this easy. I choose to make this easy. No, I choose to make this fun and easy. I choose to make this fun and easy. And then remember to tell your face. Quit crying. No. The crying is confirmation. This is crying with joy, not sad. It is. Joy, joy and sad are passing. The sadness when touched turns into joy. How many have been afraid to cry for based on shame, blame, guilt, whatever? Got it? But joy, sad is how much we love. So when we touch our sadness, we begin to remember how much we love. We begin to enjoy how much we love. Now, all I did is get you a couple more steps in the game, and all of a sudden, you're in the middle of a metamorphosis. Is that true? Yes. In, into what? What's returning for you specifically? Faith. Now say my faith. My faith. To have, do, or be what? To be me. Keep going. To, to have, do, or be. My whole self. Yeah, my, what? Well, keep going. My full healthy self. Yeah. How about my gloriously healthy self? My gloriously healthy self. Now your head said no on that, but that's not wrong. You just, there's a no in there. So I give myself permission. 
I give myself permission to shine in my healthy life. To shine in my healthy life. I shine fiercely. I shine fiercely. Yeah, my world confirms my health. My world confirms my health. I ignite health everywhere I go. I ignite health everywhere I go. And you now know that health is your happiness, yes or no? Yes. And in the past, had you not given yourself permission to be happy? I, yeah. I love it. I don't even know what he said. Me too. After <laughs> I said, I'm going, I'm not sure I can answer that. So now <laughs> I, I give myself, look at happy. I'm going to see it. Happy's coming online. So I, how about this? Try this. I give myself permission to enjoy my happiness. I give myself permission to enjoy my happiness. And did you feel what your head did? No. It just went a little, mm -mm. Uh -uh. not wrong. So sit in front of a mirror, everyone, when you're doing your decrees. So now what do you have to forgive to let yourself be happy? Vote victory, kids. What do I have to forgive? To make yes, ma'am. To be happy. The doctor. Yeah, I forgive the doctor. I forgive the doctors. I now, doctors, and I now trust my God. I now trust my God. My God is my doctor. My God is my doctor. Say it again. My God is my doctor. Say it again. My God is my doctor. Say it again. My God is my doctor. And is your, is your God, your doctor, your doctor God capable? Absolutely. He had said no. Not wrong, honey. Absolutely. Not, yeah. <laughs> Me too. <laughs> I've done it so many times just going, mm -mm -mm. all right. So now, I, so I fully empower my God in me. I fully empower my God in me. And I believe potentially I'm time-wise, I'm just going to share it. Most of us have thought our God is outside. That's the no. So where is your God? In me. And in every cell of your body. In every cell of my body. So I love my God in me. I love my God in me. And how many get the minute we start love casts out all the other stuff or transforms it? Yes? Yes. Cool. All right. What'd you remember today, Leslie? I remembered to love myself. Yep. And how about my great self? My great self. Everyone, remember this all came from a little, she's just sitting there, not on mic. She reaches up and I'm going, well, I'm how many get how many get all the little things we're doing could be the next step walking through the open door that no man can shut into our all new self, our renewed mind, our renewed health being made completely new. That's what this is about. Leslie, thank you. I vote your victory. Thank you. You're welcome. Um, hi, everyone. This is, I love the way God's got a plan and I just come and go, oh, cool. That was awesome. How many of you moved up scale as Leslie did? How many were glad that Leslie's doing this right now? <laughs> Instead of maybe you, how many were going, don't move. Just when you're on video, don't move. Just don't move. I'm, but again, I recommend you, uh, Claudia's going to can and will, 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 can. Anyone else? Some are going, oh, that would be a good idea. I think I'll know how that works. And do, 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 do. All right. How many now? are going to be looking at the handle on the back of the turley in a brand new way. How many might have something up and just walk by and go, flush it, thank you very much, you're gone, this too shall pass. Do we have any announcements, Miss Cynthia? Yes, we do. We have several things coming up that I know you guys will enjoy. This class last Saturday, SBLT class on Saturday, you can get the recording for that and then join us on for BOH class, bio-optic holography is on Saturday from 6 p.m. to 10 p.m. Eastern. We have a special on it. It's 222, I remember correctly, 222 to join this class, and you can still be part of it. I just was, I missed the um, SBLT class. I was out with my husband on a motorcycle, and I've listened to portions of it already. Stellar material. Thank you, Bob absolutely fantastic class last week and you can get that recording and then also be part of the bio-optic class coming up on and Saturday. we and life upgrade coaching the following saturday so there's three together normally yes. each one of the saturdays was 722 we went no let's make it 222 because of gas prices 
How many and if like you do all three of them, it's yeah. five fifty five. So we yeah. brought it all the way down to where it's very reasonable. And if you've only enrolled only enrolled one so far, it's okay. We'll adjust it to make sure that you can do all three at the yeah. five fifty five price. We have an all for you coming up in April as well. Excellent class um, that's coming up the third weekend in April, and we're offering um, Bob is offering twenty five minute sessions much like what Leslie just did. Beautiful, beautiful, Leslie. Thank you so much. Um, coming up week after next on Friday this week, you'll get an email to um, be part of those. And th those are 144. How many have had one with me? I know Charles has. Anybody else had a 25 minute? Several they have. Rock. Um, several I mean, are scheduled I'm, today and tomorrow yeah, as well. Yeah, yes. yeah, we did 16 or 16 or up now. And I mean, I, everyone I, I come off, well, this is the coolest thing. I mean, it's so cool to whatever. Yes. Thank you. And thank you for being here today. Yep. I, I also, all of you, so let's take a moment and vote victory. Yes. Not the getting of it, the celebration of it landed. And let's do a wave. Uh, imagine the angels, I'll put it that way, carrying instantaneous transformation of war into peace by grace, without effort, permanent peace from where you are in every direction across our planet, completely changing, purifying, raising and replacing the consciousness of humanity into I am that I am fulfilled and at peace by love and grace alone. And then it goes all the way around and you'll know when it's reached all the way around the planet because it comes back and touches you 10 or 100 or 1,000 times greater than what you sent out. It's called a tithe. Awesome. All right, next Tuesday, we meet again. Join us Saturday. It's really cool. And you're going to be, if you hadn't been involved, if you weren't in on last Saturday, sign, you'll have, it's best to do the Sacred Body Language Translation last Saturday review video before you do it because bio-optic holography is the eyes, but it's really a subset of Sacred Body Language. So you can still get all that, study it, and then come online. And um, it's profound. It's not necessarily the type of thing where you're going to be able to yet study or help someone else, but you will literally work with anybody and just notice what you can see in their eye talking with them and understand how to vote their victory and especially how to vote your own victory. How many like waking up in the morning and seeing right through whatever's up into your victory, knowing exactly what's returning for you. That's what the eyes show. All right, thank you all for being here. I vote your victory and our planet. Remember, it's coming around. It's going all the way around our beloved mother earth and it's gonna come back and kiss us.